Hey guys, welcome to Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. So we did a video the other day about teaching reading and these were the kids I was talking about. This guy is two and a half. He's not doing reading yet, but he's learning his letter sounds from that video I mentioned. This guy is four. He'll be five in October, right? What's your Ma name? Malachi. Malachi. What's your name? Uriah. How old are you? Six. When's your birthday? Uh, August 26th. So he'll be seven in August. So the video the other day was about reading. We're going to do a video about different subjects that we teach in the younger grades. So for the state of Maine, we have to teach a number of subjects, but it, the state does not tell us how to teach them, how much time we have to spend teaching them, how many days we have to spend teaching them, any of that stuff, right? And so we are following our state rules. So the things that I'm telling you are ways that we satisfy the rules in our own state. But if you don't know the rules in your state, look at hslda.org and their homeschool legal defense and they will tell you the rules for your state um, and what you have to do. But this follows our state laws. So the first thing we are talking about, well, sorry, in this video, we are talking about science and history and how we teach science and history. So Malachi first, why did you get this book at the library the other day? Because I wanted it so that we can learn more about the Titanic. More about the Titanic, right? Yeah. Yeah, he came up to me at the library with this book and he said, we need to get this book so we can learn history. And so what we do for science and history is a lot of library books. So we find books on different topics. This one happens to be about the Titanic. And this is one that we have not read out loud. You can see it's got lots of words on the page, a little too much for this guy, but it's got a lot of pictures. And when he asks us questions about the book, we look at the book and we answer the questions. The older kids have read this book, right? Yeah. Or are, have, we just got this the other day, but this is the type of book they would read. But you learn a lot just looking at the pictures that are in the book. Can you put that over on that chair? Sorry, the little one, Gideon, wanted to be in the video, so he's on my lap. Here's another Titanic book we got that just shows more of history of what happened at that time, and the children just picked this off of the shelf. Yeah, um, yeah when they found the Titanic section. Here and you go. then I want on a beach. Okay, so then how we do science is the same thing. We get books. This is actually one of our books, but you can find lots of books like this on the shelf. This one. This talks about animals and this is written whoops at a level that is easily read to your child with lots of good pictures of animals another this one is another one we have yep this is our book but another type of book like that written for this age level yeah. okay, another book yeah. this one oh is one really here's nice. a history one do you remember what this book's about yeah i have way okay yeah. this is one of ours you know and it's about a girl that doesn't want to uh, be on the train, but the, she will get sent away from her mom. That's right. Uh, this book is about the orphan trains. Oh, do you have a baby? This yeah. will be one of our little students in the next couple years. <laughs> He's a couple years away from the studio. He's going to hang out with Daddy for now. <laughs> So this book is about the orphan trains, which were an actual thing that happened, I think the late 1800s um, in this country. And about this little girl, it's written from the perspective of a little girl who had to get on the train and she had to ride it through all the stops because she didn't get picked until the very end. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then this is another one. It's talking about... Hold on, you want to share? Uh, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. We'll do the bear one in a minute. And she got... Her, she found which, someone else who was going to take care of her. Which the fat lady <laughs> gave a feather to the little girl. <laughs> the fat lady in the book. <laughs> yeah. And this. then I'll write down. If you can't tell, he pays attention. You might not be able to understand what he's saying, but he pays attention to the books we're reading. This one is about a black bear cub, and it actually tells about what the bear eats and what's going on in the bear's world. Like real, this one's a Smithsonian, this Smithsonian Wild Heritage Collection. Like a good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pass that one over here. This 
one is about a snowman and all the deal and cardinals yeah. and all the, the things in the forest finds it a snowman. And then the yeah. So a, this one has less torch. teaching about what happens for science, but it, sh yeah. careful, it's actual pictures of the animals that live in the forest. And so you can check out and see how the different animals look different from each other. Here's, here's a picture. How God made different animals. I know, we're gonna put that book down. This one we got from the library. So I just want no fire trucks. There's fire trucks. Oh, be careful. If our camera's moving, I'm moving it back, but baby's feet were too close. Gideon's feet were too close. Oh, so there's my next student. So this, I'm doing these videos for early in elementary, so kindergarten through second grade, which is what these guys are doing right now. She's more like third grade. Okay. It depends what um, oh, yeah. thing we're doing. So, yes, she just turned nine. So anyway, this book just talks about trucks and different things about yeah. trucks. And so it's a good jumping off point of what do you need to drive a vehicle? Where would you drive a vehicle? Um, just basic. So another thing that goes with science and history is basic social studies about the world around us, how people have do jobs and things like that. This one is about creatures and stuff around the world. Oops, sorry. Hold on. I'm going to open a page. I'm going to open a page. So it has things to explore to see the difference. So this is a plane next to the Statue of Liberty, the different size comparisons. Okay. So this book is another one we just got. The little ones are just looking at it. He can read though. So he's reading the parts that he finds interesting. Right? This yeah. one is about a girl who has a laundry line and she has a little code for it. Yeah. This is her Do you want to explain this, more about that book? And then no. So it's this girl whose brother went off to fight in the revolution and she made different laundry things into like different kinds of ships. Yeah. So, so depending which way she hung her laundry. Which ones were bad. Mm -hmm. So she helped with that. Yes, and that's and actually... And then the water, and then on the water. True life yes. events. Yes, on the water. So anyway, that is how we teach basic history and science to the kids. Letting them learn about the world around them through picture books. There are also some really... Good, sorry, he keeps sitting right in front of my face. There are also some really good resources online that we use. So we like to... Hi. We like to use um, videos by Answers in Genesis. They teach creation and about animals from a biblical perspective. Um, uh oh, we got a baby. Do you want me to take the baby? We're trying to get him past the camera. Take the baby. Without messing the camera up. Okay, we got a baby for a second. So Answers in Genesis, I think it's .org, teach, um, his, uh, teach science from a biblical perspective. There might be history stuff on there. If you go on there, there's a section for kids and they have videos that talk about animals in this world and dinosaurs and all of that stuff. We also, for history, really like, um, these are kind of for some of the older grades, but I'm just telling you because as a family, we do these things together. And so our little kids are learning when they watch the things the older kids like. Oh, we have another student. This student is past second grade too. Um, so anyway, we like drive through history. It's T H R U through drive through history. You can find that on TBN. Um, you just sign up for a free account and you can also find it like on Amazon has some of them, but they, um, Dave Stotts is the guy's name and he takes you through again, biblical history, um, of America and of the world and things like that. And so, you know, of the soldiers. Okay, the statue was built. Hold on. Iwo Jima. Oh, Iwo Jima. We just watched one about Iwo Jima, the memorial the other day. And what? And also, uh, there is uh, like cooking with that snow. Or yes, that's a different one. That's a older grade. I guess Dave Stotts is on YouTube too. Um, also, for history, um, I was just thinking of another one. Oh, Liberty's Kids is a cartoon um, that used to be on PBS. I don't know if you can find it online, but we've bought the, we bought the DVD from Amazon. 
It was on PBS. It was a cartoon about. <laughs> we have a book. It was a cartoon about the Revolutionary War. We found this book at the library the other day. So this reading just it. has words. It does just have words. No pictures, huh? Okay. okay. And so the last thing I wanted to say is your little kids are listening. So if you are doing school with the older kids, you don't have to do their own lessons for this age group. We were learning about Genesis. He can, he can hold it. Oh, you want to show us? Thank you. We were learning about Genesis the other, like this study of Bible. We've been doing Genesis for a couple months. So today we did a review of Genesis. And we went back to Genesis 1. What did God create? We were talking to the little ones about that. And this guy right here, 4, he said, Mom, ask me what God did on day 2. What did God create on day 2, Malachi? The Rakia. The Rakia. What does Rakia mean? Do you remember the other word for it? The fur. Firmament. Firmament. Yeah, the firmament. The firmament. So just from watching what the older kids are learning, he actually learned that in a lecture that they listened to at night that was from drive uh, from Answers in Genesis. But they pick up a lot of stuff that you're not, I wasn't expecting him to know the Hebrew word for firmament. I teach the kids that on day two, God made the waters above and the waters below. I don't teach them any of those fancy words. They learned that. So anyway, that is what we want to talk about. The um, science and history for grades K through two, how we do it in our household. We'll see you guys next time on Herding Little Cows to the Glory of God. Bye. Bye.